I'm not wearing earrings and you're wearing earrings. Wear the rings or not wear the rings? You should wear them. Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. We've never done a video like this before, but uh, one of Paul's subscribers on Instagram sent him a message saying that we should do like a holiday gift guide for girls and guys. So we grabbed all of our Christmas decorations, which isn't much, and we set up this little thing. <laughs> And we wanted to put a video together for you guys. So we're gonna go through our 10 gift ideas for girl and guy disc golfers. I have like a list of 20, so I'll try to pick 10. Okay, then you can go first. Oh, and these are in no special order. We have a couple like honorable mentions, stuff like that, so. I guess I'll start with the easiest one, probably the most common one. Um, if you're a disc golfer, you would like to receive signature disc from your favorite pros or favorite companies. Um, but I think Signature Disc is, is a good one. Um, if you can get an autograph, even better. That's my number one so far. Yeah, that's a good idea. For my birthday one time, I got Paige Pierce Signature Disc, which she was on Prodigy. For mine, the first one that I wrote down was like headgear, beanies, and earbands. You kind of have to pay attention to the woman in your life who you're shopping for. If she's wearing like a low ponytail all the time, like Paige Pierce style, then you're probably gonna wanna grab her a beanie. But if she's wearing like hats all the time, or she wears like high ponytails all the time when she plays disc golf, grab her an earband because I have played disc golf in beanies and you come out with like the biggest knots in your hair and also wear them with a hat, so that's what I like to do. Charity I'm gonna go with the three easiest ones so far <laughs> to start and then we'll get a little bit more into it after that. But number two for me would be portable baskets. Um, lightweight is probably the most important thing, something that can store well. I just received actually two portable baskets from Discraft which they came in a box maybe this wide and the whole basket's in there. So for it to be in that little box and be as light as it is, that's one I would highly suggest. But the indoors, outdoors, you can even put on a course. Um, so that's my number two. My number two was pants, like disc golf pants. My favorite disc golf pants are from Under Armour. Their women's collection is really good, but you can't really find them on sale. Harrison, <laughs> hold on one sec. Sorry, just like all of a sudden randomly cut. It's most likely because of our dog. So my number two is pants. Right now they have these kinds that are like cold gear infrared links and these ones retain your body heat. So they're really, really clutch for winter golf. My third one I put in is waterproof shoes or just disc golf shoes in general. I think if you were to ask most people what the number one shoe in disc golf is, it'd be the Adidas, Eric's line. There's a bunch of different models, but I would highly suggest the waterproof ones, especially in the winter. Disc golf shoes, waterproof shoes, um, that's my number three. That was mine too, is shoes. Something that you taught me was you have to pay attention to the soles. Yeah, the, the tread, one the thing tread that I notice is with a lot of shoes is they're made for running. You know, so the treads are facing forward to where in disc golf, when you plant, you plant on the side of your foot. So if the tread is going straight, it's not going to catch when you put your foot down sideways. That's one thing I, I really look for in, in disc golf shoes is the tread that are kind of on the outside, which aren't directly pointed forward, but kind of can catch on the right side. And I guess more rugged ones have the tread on the side, which avoid that sliding that the trail running shoes can, can have. All right, now I'll start to get into my little, a little bit more creative ones. A trend I'm starting to see in disc golf, range finders. People are really exploring. People are really exploring um, new courses and just traveling more with disc golf. So when you go to a new course, you don't necessarily know the distances. You're kind of trying to gauge it with your eye. But if you have a rangefinder, it makes it a little bit easier. And they're not that big, so it's easy to pack in your bag. So rangefinder is my number four. Wow, that's a good one. Um, I said uh, leggings. So a lot of women disc golfers play in leggings, obviously. But don't cheap out, especially if you're getting it as a gift. Lululemon are my favorite kind of leggings because they're really, really, really good quality. I bought a pair of Lululemons and a pair of Nikes at the same time, and that was like three months ago, and I already have to replace the Nikes because I'm just like picking something up and hiking them up and like walking five feet and like hiking them up. And if you're a girl out there, you understand. If you're a guy, you don't understand, and that's what I'm telling you. Number five, let's see. <laughs> this one was actually shouted out on your Twitter. Um, so, mystery boxes. Uh, a few people said that they bought mystery boxes for their significant other or family members. And that, I think, is a great one. You don't know what's in it, they don't know what's in it. 
and it's fun for everyone. So mystery box, I think every disc manufacturer has some sort of mystery box going on right now, at least in the holiday season. Disc golf stores have them. So there's quite a few retailers that also do mystery boxes as well. So that's my number five. Uh, my number five was shirts. Honestly, for the winter time, my favorite thing to wear are crew necks. And they sell really cute ones in the disc golf world. The Jomez jerseys. My mom bought me a Jomez jersey for my birthday this year. And it's actually really dope. It's really good material and it makes you look like you're one of them. And it's just really cool. Just like that. Just like that. The last thing that I'll say for shirts, because these are all just like different ideas. Uniqlo is a Japanese company. They have what's called heat tech. And you basically just buy like a base layer to wear under all of your disc golf clothes. Once you start moving it, like retains your body heat really well. So, number like, so breath, I can't even breathe through my nose. Number six. Nick Carl. Oh, let's come out. <laughs> Our bathroom's right there, and Nick Carl was taking a shower. So now we got an audience. So, number six. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of Jomez, I'm gonna go with Patreon supporters. You can gift your favorite media crew. I think they're all Patreon or media crew or players. I think it could be as little as a dollar a month but i think if you can give that to someone that'd be really cool because it kind of enters them into a lot of giveaways get some content that's not really released to the public and only to their patreon supporters so gifting a patreon to someone would be a really cool gift wait that's such a good idea your ideas are so good so yeah, mine usually come out at like two or three in the morning is when i come up with <laughs> yeah. my great ideas so my number six is discs and you already said like signature discs of their favorite FPO player. If you have a woman in your life who is in love with disc golf, get her to be a fan of FPO and then if she's a fan of Evelina, if she's a fan of Kristen Star, buy her their disc. And if you send them like an Instagram message, sometimes you can mail them that disc, they'll sign it and mail it back to you. You just have to like include a little tracking label so that they can return it. She said disc, so you know, with the intention to autograph them, and also put like a little bonus one here, which would be Sharpies. Always good to have Sharpies in case you do meet mm -hmm. one of your favorite players or favorite pros or That's media true. people. It's always good to have Sharpies in your bag for that, so disc and Sharpies. Number seven, I have on here PDJ memberships. Usually they last for the year, whether it's a new member, renewal, or club memberships. Clubs, I think, are probably the most overlooked memberships, mm -hmm. so club memberships are really big. Uh, but that would be a really cool gift. Number seven for me, I said portable phone chargers. Not just for Pokemon, but also because you disc. So just keep score, you can track how far you've thrown, you can find local courses in your area, you can do all sorts of things. Again, not sponsored, but maybe in the future, am I right? Well, yeah, um, PDJ memberships come with a free year subscription. Oh, which you is disc. a good gift. You can bundle them up right there. Yep, so now we're on to eight. Lessons from a pro. There's so many pros out there, whether it's That's so cute. local pros or top level professionals that give lessons. We have great friends out in Finland, Yale Store and Nina, and also Silver and Kristen and, all, and Albert, so all our European friends. They give lessons. They do academies basically in the mm -hmm. winter. Some people even drive 10 hours to get lessons. Okay, I said bags. I did a review on this channel of the G series from Grip. One of my favorite bags besides that one. She's been playing and competing for a little while. I like the B series. It carries 18 discs and it's important when you're first starting to not carry like too many discs. By doing that it kind of gets you to be familiar with the different discs that there are without like overstimulating yourself. So I like to carry a B series. I don't know what size that you carry but. I have the A series and every year they kind of remodel it in some ways. Yeah. Usually they have an end of, end of the year sale going on right now. Um, or a Christmas sale, and then they kind of redesign. Do they? They tweak something usually the next year. Number nine, disc storage rack or bins. Um, oh. <laughs> we just built one the other day for both of us. Actually, I built one for myself, and then Hannah decided to get an old uh, bookshelf and turn it into a storage rack. Yeah, shout out to Madison Walker for putting that on your Instagram. What I did was took a bookshelf where you can like move and adjust the shelves and then you just put one end higher than the other and they just like sit in there. This can end up everywhere and be a mess so yeah. um, if there's a way to store them neatly it looks way better and it's weird too when people get into disc golf like their first month or two all of a sudden they have 100 discs so you need somewhere to keep those. I was like thinking about it and you ever been to someone's house where there's just fruit or like potatoes or like 
something sitting out like bread. Why are you looking at our kitchen? Because we have all of that. We always have discs. Like we have three discs right there, just sitting there. And then you those had are, a stack of those discs. Are mixed. Okay. But it's just like there's always discs everywhere. I don't understand. Like where why? Where are they coming from? Actually our camera right now is sitting on a stack of discs. Is that a box of discs? Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> but you wouldn't know because they're stored so neatly in a box. Uh-huh. So what number are we on? Number nine? Yep. Okay. Number nine. Oh, this one's good. Okay, I said reusable water bottle. Every time we sign up for a tournament, people are like, here's a water bottle. And we're like, mm -hmm. Which is awesome because uh, out of the hundreds of people that are playing. But it's... then when you play 20 to 25 tournaments and then you come home with 20 to 25 water bottles and you're like, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're great gifts. Yeah, um, Nick Carl, that's what we're getting. <laughs> so anyways, this is something that you can take a step further and make it look a little bit more thoughtful. So Hydro Flask has a little promotion going on right now where you can design it and add different colors to it and you can make it your own, like very personal. And then fill it with something. Like don't just get a girl Hydro Flask and be like, here you go. You can fill it with sweet notes, favorite candy, SPF chapstick. I always have that in my bag. I always have snacks in my bag. Sharpies. I always have like Sharpies, yeah. And then Sephora, which is a makeup store, has this SPF for your face called Super Goop. It's really awesome, does make you break out, and it lasts the whole round, so. And it's just cute. It's like a cute little stocking stuffer thing that you can put in like a little water bottle. Number 10, it's two that tie together in some way. I put a trip, gift a trip, to one of their favorite disc golf tournaments. It's a big gift, that's why I left it for number 10. The European Open in Nokia, Finland is the one to go to. So if it's possible for someone and there's some huge disc golf fanatics, if not in the US, kind of one of the bigger ones, I would say the Pro Tours, National Tours, or Majors. And on the Pro Tour is the Maple Hill Open or the MVP Open in Massachusetts. And that kind of ties the second part. If that's a little bit on the pricier side, I'd go with the Birdie. Board game that's going to be oh, coming out yeah. next year. Uh, That'd be a cool gift. Really fun. Yeah, it is. Right, literally right here. We're playing it right here tomorrow, Tuesday, December 9th, with Simon Lozat. So, don't know if this will be out yet. Good to know. <laughs> Number ten for me is Madison Walker. Super famous for wearing like a bandana or like a scarf. You can get a buff or a neck gaiter or a neck warmer or whatever you want to call it from wherever you're from at like REI, Dick's Sporting Goods, Amazon. But just like. Make sure it's machine washable because honestly, when I was shopping for one, there are a lot that aren't, and that's just like, kind of gross. Like you can't like wash them. Yeah. It says like spot clean, and I'm like, mm, it's kind of gross. And then socks. I love wearing different fun socks, and that's kind of like something that disc golf is kind of trying to get into. It's like a hit or miss kind of thing, but you can get skate socks, and you can get. Like I have purple socks with like mermaids on them. And if you get skater socks, they're a lot more durable. They're meant to be like sweated in. What are skater socks? If you Google skate socks, oh, okay. it's just for skateboarding. They're a lot more durable. Gotcha. Yeah, and I have just black socks. Because if you get like white or gray, they show dirt really bad. <laughs> like, so. I just think it's funny that you were like, get black socks. And I was like, yeah. you can get socks with unicorns well, on them. Anyways, I have some honorable mentions of things that I kind of thought about. Honorable this. mentions are the same as yours. Oh, they are? Well, one of them. My honorable mentions are grip sticks, belts, and then practice baskets, kind of the same thing that you yeah, said exactly. earlier. I made my list a lot more than 10 because I knew we'd match some because we kind of were like, let's not, let's do it separate. Them. Let's do it separate so we can, you know, kind of be like, wow, that's a great idea. So a lot of my honorable mentions now are clothing or apparel, disc golf players or companies and stuff like that. Well, what was your clothing? Oh, I just put like disc golf apparel, hoodies, rain gear. What's like your favorite gear? Like if you had to play around and it, you had to play around today and it's literally raining so hard out. I like having like a rain shell. A rain jacket that's really thin that obviously keeps the rain out but isn't like really hot because okay. I kind of prepare for that by wearing a long sleeve, you know, clothes under. So if you have a thick rain jacket, you're going to be burning it. And if you buy a shell, just make sure it says waterproof. Because yep. a lot of the women's shells are only water resistant. I don't know why. Just keep your eye on that. Okay, so I put out on my Twitter a tweet that said... What are the best disc golf Christmas presents you've ever received or given? Tweet at me for a chance to be featured on your next vlog for the holidays. I think that's this. So person. what did they say? They said three 90-minute private lessons with Yale Store. My wife gave it to me. And it helped improve my game a lot. Although I'm just a casual player, I found it super useful. Oh, he got a disc golf shirt with his name and PJ number on it. So that's, that's cute. How do you do that? 
You just go to like screen printing. Yeah. Screen printing. Kevin Myers, a membership to the Infinite Disc VIP group, a disc every month. I loved it. So that's a great one. David Sharp, practice basket for the backyard. We did mention okay, that Okay, so one. yeah, practice basket. John Reed said, my mom bought me, my dad, and my uncle each a mystery box on Christmas. We mixed them all together and went one by one picking discs. It was really fun. <laughs> that sounds like chaos. So Rachel D says, I was surprised with the PDJ membership last year for Christmas. I casually mentioned that I wanted to get into <laughs> tournaments and my boyfriend got me a membership so I, so I could. It was by far my favorite gift. That's so sweet. And then oh, Greg is, another? is another basket. So lots of baskets. So seems like a lot of them are affordable now. Easy to move, yeah. collapsible. Oh, but know. anyways, thank you guys so much for participating on Twitter. I'm actually going to randomly pick one of the people who participated and send them a thank you. I also want to do a giveaway on this video. So like, comment, and subscribe. And for your chance to enter the giveaway. And I'm going to put together like my own version of a mystery box. A Macbeth mystery box. So like, comment, and subscribe. So that I know that you guys are involved in the giveaway. But um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this. This was pretty fun. Just kind of like a last minute thing. And also... Simon gets here tomorrow. So I'm excited. Hi guys. Actually he gets here today. <laughs> <laughs> we have to clean.